What's up, Prize 5 fans? I'm Brian Tong, and we're here with another challenger looking to take down the iPhone 3GS in this prize fight ring. It's a heavyweight prize fight between the number one contender of Google's Nexus One and the reigning champion, Apple's iPhone 3GS. Now, we put the Nexus One through our real world test, so we're bringing in our judges for this fight senior editor Kent German, associate editor Nicole Lee, and myself will do the honors. Now, we'll take all three judges' scores and average them out to the nearest tenth each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same decimal system. So let's get this thing started. Which phone says, do me baby, round one is sexiness. The Nexus One is the sexiest phone I've seen next to the iPhone. It's slightly slimmer with a solid feel and its OLED display is crisp and clear. The iPhone created a whole new level of design that the Nexus One takes cues from minimalist and clean with metal accents. After all this time, it's still been able to keep its sex appeal. Both phones are beauties, and we're calling this round a tie at 4.7. Control and user interface makes or breaks the device. Next round is navigation. The Nexus One's touchscreen interface was responsive for all of us. The trackball is nice, even if you don't really use it that much. Multi-touch is here across multiple apps, but the touch controls below the screen weren't always that responsive. The iPhone 3GS has perfected ease of use on a mobile device. I know it sounds corny, but it just makes sense. Navigating through the OS with multi-touch present across apps like Maps, web browsing, and viewing your pictures. The iPhone 3GS takes this round with a 4.7, and the Nexus One gets a 4. So after averaging two rounds, the iPhone leads by just three tenths of a point, but there's plenty of fight left. Next round is Features. Both phones are bringing 3G, GPS, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth, but if you're looking for a round for the Nexus to shine, this one is it. There's its unrivaled voice search, Sushi, Google Apps integration for mail contacts and calendars, multitasking, and more customization in the OS with widgets, plus a superior Maps app with turn-by-turn -turn directions. It's also an unlocked phone with an SD card slot and a removable battery. Is that enough for you? Now the iPhone 3GS is no chump, its app store is unmatched and has made it more than just a phone. Its cut, copy and paste is well executed, but it still has no multitasking capabilities, We're waiting for flash support, and its notification system pops up and gets in the way. The judges all agree here, the Nexus lands a perfect five and the iPhone 3GS gets a four. Next round is web browsing and multimedia. The Nexus One has a quality mobile browser. We like its multiple windows icon view, but it's still a step below Apple's. You'll have access to the Amazon MP3 store. Its media player is still pretty basic, and I was really hoping for more from Android 2.1, but its five megapixel camera with flash outdoes the iPhones. Now the iPhone Safari web browser is still the best web experience on a phone, even without flash. It also has the best media player for music and videos, and its integration with iTunes gives you access to tons of podcasts, TV shows, and movie content. Its three megapixel camera is satisfactory, but its video capture outshines the Nexus Ones. The iPhone 3G takes this round with a 4.7, and the Nexus One gets a four. So after averaging four rounds, Apple's lead has been trimmed down to just one tenth of a point. Does the Nexus One have any gas left in the tank? The final round that decides it all is call quality. We were all impressed with the Nexus One's call quality. It sounded very clear and pretty natural, and the person on the other side of the line said the same. The iPhone's call quality is more than acceptable, but it's a step below the Nexus One with a little more static and interference, and yes, we experienced a drop call in our test. The Nexus One throws its last punch and takes the final round 4.7 to 3.7, but is it enough? Let's average out all five rounds and in a throwdown where the 3GS jumped out early, the Nexus One kept clawing and scratching, and you could call it the comeback kid because Google's Nexus One takes this battle 4.5 to 4.4 and is your prize fight winner. Both of these phones are at the top of their game, but it was the Nexus One's features and call quality over the iPhone 3GS's navigation and multimedia experience that put it over the top. But really, the phone that ends up in your pocket is up to you. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time on another prize fight. Keep up! Keep up!